Japanese Wagyu beef. Meat so delectable, juicy, and well-marbled, I refuse to believe that beef eating in Japan was outlawed until the late 19th century. Speaking of Japan, I actually got to try some while I was there. And yes, it is worth the hype. Dip it over. But I want to do more than just simply grill it and eat it. Let's turn it into sushi. Now, when you're talking sushi, you gotta talk rice. Specifically, I have here about three cups of medium grain white rice. And now comes my least favorite part of sushi making, cleaning the damn stuff. Honestly, this is like doing taxes. It's tedious, boring, but if you don't do it, you're in for a world of trouble. All right, enough jibber jabber, let's get to rinsing. Okay, despite hitting it with lots of water, this rice, as you can see, is still kind of murky. So, sadly, I'm not done yet. My god, this rice is filthier than a Bob Saget stand-up routine. Yep, yeah, this is as good as I'm going to get it. All right, let's go on to the next step. Okay, my rice is now clean, and I transferred it to our rice cooker. And of course, you can do it on the stove with a regular pot. But quite honestly, I had algebra homework that was less complicated. So when it comes to measuring out water for rice, there's only one trying to method. The finger. So basically, touch the surface of the rice with the tip of your index finger. And then, once the water level rises to your first knuckle, that's the perfect amount of water. Okay, so finger on rice. And next comes the water. And finally, let this thing cook. Okay, our rice is done cooking. So, empty it out onto a large heat proof tray. All right, okay, let me just declumpify this. And uh, yeah, let me give this rice a little bit of a taste test. Perfect texture. The finger method always works for the rice. Hey, dear Jay, you think the finger method works on girls? <laughs> Joke's on you, my health insurance kicks in today. Now, when making sushi rice, we need to make the dressing. And it's really simple. Two tablespoons of rice vinegar, followed by one tablespoon of sugar. Mix it up until the sugar mostly dissolves. All right, so let's pour our mixture over our rice. Now while moving this around and using a paper plate, let's fan our rice dry and clean. Season has been easily dispersed, and as you can tell, it's nice and sticky. On to the next step. And now the moment you've all been waiting for. And by you, I mean I. Wag you. Pause the video, get a nice good look at this. And if anyone's asking, no, this is not A5. This is American Wagyu. Actual A5 Wagyu would have cost three times much. I'm not made of money. You want an actual A5 Wagyu sushi video? Support me on Patreon, link in the description. But before we take care of the Wagyu, let's take care of the little rice patties. Wet your hands with cold water. Using a moderate amount of pressure, just form one into a little puck like this. And let's get a slice of Wagyu. Lay it on top. And using a moderate amount of pressure, glue it to our sushi and place it on our plate. Oh, and uh, get used to wetting your hands a lot. And don't worry if these slices of Wagyu are too long. You'll see why in a moment. All right, now using a propane torch. Let's roast these puppies. I see they contracted a bit. That's why I told you not to worry about the length. All right, next let's brush on some soy sauce. And finally, let's top each one of these off with a little bit of grated garlic. A little goes a long way, so don't go crazy. And boom. 
Oh, and uh, since we just blasted the plate with a 2000 degree flame, uh, give it a moment for it to cool off. Then you can dig right in. Oh yeah, I definitely got to try it with a five next time. This has been Taste Cutting Kitchen. I'm CRJ, making cooking fun and meaning it this time. Thanks for watching. If you liked the video, smash the like button. If you really liked the video, become a subscriber and hit the bell notification icon. I upload every Thursday. Don't forget to follow me on Twitter, Instagram, TikTok, and support me on Patreon. Oh man, even with that little garlic, I'm going in to work with garlic bread tomorrow. Yeah, worth it.